good afternoon to one and all of you. Uh, as I told, my name is Arvind. As the introducer told, my name is Arvind. Uh, now coming to the obvious question, I am doing my masters in law at National University of Advanced Legal Studies, Kalamashiri. Uh, last one year, I had been working as a professional officer in State Bank of India, which I quit to do my masters. And moving on to the obvious question, what happened to me? That's the first question that comes, that's thrown at me when I meet someone new or when I go outside, anywhere, anywhere, the first question is what happened to you? Not that, what's your name? It Sometimes what's the name comes, but still, it's understandable. What happened to me is a question that I'm very used to. So. That's what I'm here to tell you all about what happened to me and why, how I am here. Uh, I was very lazy at studying as a student when I was doing my uh, schooling. When I came to know that Navy was enrolling, uh, taking uh, students of the age group who is doing their plus two as sailors upon their 10th class. Then in 2002, I joined Indian Navy as a sailor. I worked for a while, I, three, four years I had been a sailor, then I had an accident in 2006, uh, it was in January, I had gone out, when I was returning I had a motorbike accident and it was instantly I got paralyzed below my waist, I lost sense, that's what I knew. The first thing I remember in the morning was police people coming to take my statement and they took everything and they came, gave me the pen and asked me to sign and when I kept the pen in the paper to sign the pe pen was running all around the paper and I was like what what is this what's happening to my hand I can't sign then I told I can just give a thumb impression moving on then I was transferred to some hospitals one of the best some of the best hospital in Indian Navy that's in Mumbai then I was in Pune for rehabilitation one fine night I woke up thirsty. I had no hand control most of the time. I couldn't even hold a paper sometimes in the initial days. But my mother used to hold books. Like then, uh, that was when I came to know about Alchemish, the book. She used to hold it for me when I was laying in the bed and I read it, the entire book. So inspiration is not something that was bestowed, inherent in me. But it was bestowed or given to me by someone like my mother, my friends, my family, so many people, so many people, everyone, everyone in space, every, each and every one of us inspires someone or else. A few years before I had thought that we are all messengers, we have all got some message in our mind and we are all oracles. That's why we connect to some people and we meet thousands of people in our life, daily life, any year. But only few, with only a few, we get connected to. Because that person must be the oracle to decipher what the message we have inherent in us, the message we are carrying in our soul. And we can be an oracle to many people, decipher their messages. That's how people get connected to each other. We can make choices. It can be right or wrong. We are not aware what our choices will be or where our choices will take us. It's not for us to decide what our choices can be. I had an accident. I was paralyzed below neck for a while. But there was no way I was not going to, I was going to give up because there are so many people around me who doesn't, didn't want me to give up. Even now, uh, there are so many people. Even now, my friends, they didn't want me to give up. They gave me an such an opportunity to come here and speak before you and tell my story. <laughs> but I was very lazy in, in the initial days and which co action days. But one fine night, I woke up and I was thirsty and there was a bottle of water and I couldn't get it and drink. I cried for one and a half hours, shouted, cried, did everything that I could to get the attention of the sleeping nurse. 
it was a rainy night so i won't complain that if anyone sleeps then after that i decided enough is enough now i will do it if i want if i am thirsty i will get my drink but it's not that i can do everything on my own there are things that i can do there are things that i cannot do everyone here like srinivas sir is here i don't know whether he can drive or not but obviously sir came a driver might be the, i mean i bought him here there are things that we can do there are things we can't do i can do some things i can't do some things it is just that accept that and life is far more better that we can't do everything in this world like if we are engineers you are engineers i am a lawyer so i my area of field is law and your area of field is engineering so you are doing that but but we have learned from our life that's how we move on learn each and every person teaches us something good bad negative positive everyone has something to teach us always learn from each and everyone try to learn don't be disappointed when something negative happens from a friend or someone whom you have relayed up always understand everyone has a in thought process of their own no one can be you you can't be no one else that's the way life is so most of the time we find ourselves in situation where we cry ponder upon how the people behave to us it's not the way if they doesn't you know if they doesn't if they can't do anything for you or if they didn't do something that they had promised to do or if they didn't do something that you had expected them to do just remember they are not you they might have their own issues to face they might have their own things to do just move on with that that thought will help you to realize that you can do far more better than what you are doing now just being you know <laughs> cage with your thoughts cage in your thoughts won't help you move forward in your life or or it won't take you anywhere i promise you it won't take you anywhere mohammed ali the great boxer once told impossible is a word that is thrown about by people who doesn't want to do things they are just cage impossible the word itself is just if you put an apostrophe and give a space it's i am possible that's a way it is life is not impossible life is i am possible just i just wanted to talk to you all about lot of things but this brief content thank you